The squad has been announced for the summer tour to Japan and South Korea. The squad are currently flying to Tokyo uh, for the game against Vizel Kobe this Saturday. No place on the plane for Brian Hill and Sergio Reglon. Both of them are searching for new clubs. Uh, new squad numbers for Udogi and Vicario. Matthew Craig has just completed a loan move to Barnsley for next season. Spurs women fixtures have just been released for the new season. Pierre Muhoibier departs the club and has joined Marseille. Girona have now opened talks about Brian Hill, according to Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano. Vincent Company has confirmed that Harry Kane will not play against Spurs in Seoul in the friendly in South Korea. Uh, the Football Insider have stated that everyone is confident at Tottenham that Postacoglu will not leave if offered the England job. The latest on the Tottenham Villa talks about Ramsey and Lo Celso, and a former Spurs midfielder has come out and said that Spurs should go out and spend £80 million on Manchester United star Marcus Rashford. Chris Cowley. Fan Cams. Club News. Transfer News. Match Previews. Legend Interviews. Spurs Women. Press Conferences. Covering everything Tottenham. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit the follow button and leave a review if you can. So there is a lot to get through in this episode and I'm going to start with all of the official announcements and statements released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Monday. The first one, the travelling squad for our pre-season tour of Japan and Korea has been confirmed. We play J-League champions Vissel Kobe in Tokyo on Saturday, 11am UK time kickoff. K-League All-Stars in Seoul on Wednesday week on the 31st of July, 12 noon UK time kickoff. And FC Bayern Munich also in Seoul on Saturday the 3rd of August, 12 noon UK time kickoff. Uh, all matches will be streamed live on Spurs Play and the following players will make the trip. Abbott, Austin, Bergval, Basuma, Davis, Devine, Donnelly, Radudragushin, career only, Gray, Gunter, Hall, Johnson, Kulisewski, Lancashire, Madison, Moore, Phillips, Poro, Richarlison, Royale, Saar, Scarlett, Skip, Solomon, Son, Skip, Udogi, Vicario, Veliz, uh, Werner and Whiteman. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have also stated that Fraser Forster remains at Hotspur Way as he continues his rehabilitation from a fractured foot. Benton Curler, Celso, Romero, Van der Ven will rejoin the squad closer to the start of the season after representing their countries in the latter stages of the Copa America and Euro 2024. Spurs have also stated that Brian Hill and Sergio Regulon have been granted permission not to travel in order to explore prospective transfer opportunities. Another official statement from Spurs. We can confirm some changes to our men's first team squad numbers ahead of the 2024-2025 season. Goalkeeper Vicario will wear the number one shirt moving forward. He has therefore vacated the number 13 shirt, which in turn has been assigned to Destiny Udogi, the left-back switching from his previous squad number of 38. Both players will begin using their new numbers from our opening pre-season match against Vissel Kobe in Tokyo on Saturday. On Monday evening, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club confirmed that Matthew Craig has joined League One side Barnsley on loan for the 2024-2025 season. A product of our academy, Matthew made his Premier League debut for us on the final day of the 2022-2023 season at Leeds United and spent the second half of last term on loan at Doncaster Rovers, where he made 20 appearances and helped them to reach the League Two playoffs. On Monday afternoon, the WSL fixtures were released for the Tottenham Hotspur women for the 2024-2025 season. The Spurs women will start um, the season at home against Crystal Palace, followed by an away trip at Aston Villa, then a home game against Liverpool, followed by two away games at Manchester United and Chelsea. 
Another official statement was released by Spurs on Monday evening, confirming the departure of midfielder Pierre Mihoybier. Uh, the club statement says, we have reached an agreement with Marseille for the loan of Pierre Mihoybier for the 2024-2025 season with an obligation that would see the move uh, become permanent. The Denmark midfielder joined us from Southampton in August 2020 and in his four seasons here featured in 143 of our 152 Premier League matches, reaching 100 184 appearances for us in all competitions. A starter in the 2021 Carabao Cup final, Pierre's finest moment in the Spurs shirt came against a team he is now joining when he fired home a late winner um, to secure top spot in Group D of the UEFA Champions League in November 2022. Pierre Mujoybier added 48 caps to his tally of 81 for Denmark during his four years at Spurs. During that time, he was part of the Danish team that reached the semi-finals of the European Championships in 2021 and captained his country for the first time in March 2024 marking the occasion with a goal against Faroe Islands. We wish Pierre all the best for the future. Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has just stated that Girona have now opened talks with Tottenham Hotspur about Brian Hill. He is set to leave Spurs this summer. Now, on Monday, it was confirmed by Bayern Munich boss Vincent Company that Harry Kane will not feature against Spurs in Seoul, South Korea, on the 3rd of August. He has stated he will not be there, but hopefully for the first cup game. Eric Dyer is expected to face his old club in South Korea, and then again a week later at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The Football Insider have just published the following major update on Postacoglu quitting Spurs. Tottenham Hotspur boss Postacoglu is not considering quitting the club to take the England job. Postacoglu 58 has been widely linked with the vacancy after Gareth Southgate's departure last week. However, it is believed that the Australian boss is highly unlikely to take the role after just 12 months at Tottenham. The report then states that Tottenham Hotspur sources say that the club are not even willing to consider compensation offers to release Postacoglu from his contract at the club. The ex-Celtic boss remains happy in North London after a successful first season in the role. Now, in the last couple of weeks, there has been a lot of media speculation linking Aston Villa's Jacob Ramsey to Spurs and Giovanni Lo Celso to Aston Villa. Well, Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has stated the interest of Tottenham and Aston Villa in discussing a deal between Jacob Ramsey and Lo Celso. It is true, but that the negotiation is advanced or close is not true at the moment. Reports in Italy on Monday are stating that Lazio have reportedly been offered the services of Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso, but the Italian club have decided to turn down the opportunity. Former Spurs midfielder and TalkSport pundit Jamie O'Hara has come out and said that Spurs need to go out and sign Marcus Rashford for Manchester United. He said, I've got a soft spot for him. I don't know why, because watching him last season frustrated the hell out of me. What's he walking around at Luton for? And you're thinking, come on, mate, give me some more. But he does have star quality. He has got the X factor. And if you get a manager who gets the best out of him, you're going to have a top player. O'Hara then went on to say he doesn't get on with Eric Ten Hag. That's a problem that they have got to solve. You can't have someone on £375,000 a week just sitting on the bench, not doing anything and not featuring and not being involved. He has to play. Uh, you've got to find a way of getting him into the team. He makes brilliant runs, um, but never gets the ball. Would you pay £80 million for him? Yes, I would. I would love to see him at Tottenham. Now, my thoughts on everything in this episode, let's start by talking about the squad announcement. And of course, we saw the video released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club on Monday afternoon of the players getting on the plane. Um, now, there isn't any real surprises for me. Some people will probably be surprised that Jed Spence has got on that plane. I tell you what, if you'd have asked me a couple of weeks ago, will Jed Spence be on that plane? Absolutely not. But I tell you what, he's had a great start to pre-season, played extremely well against Hearts and against QPR, and he deserves deserves this chance and uh, I always say on this channel always say on the podcast it is about players taking opportunities grabbing opportunities with both hands he has certainly done that 
Um, you know, that is progress. That really is. Postacoglu giving him a chance and Jed Spence taking it. I hope that he takes it um, in the three games, you know, one in Japan, two in South Korea. No place on the plane for uh, Brian Hill and Sergio Reglon. I am not that surprised at all. Uh, I fully expect both of them to, to leave. I've said this for weeks. Uh, I also expected Pierre Mihoibier to go out the door. And of course, the Euros are now over. Uh, the Euros have been over for what, over a week now. And uh, this is when um, everything is going to start happening, in my opinion. Uh, players in the door, players out the door. Um, let's come on to Pierre Mihoibier because I do wish him all of the very best. Um, I said this um, at length in one of the previous episodes. Um, I think that he um, always gave his all every single time he wore that Spurs shirt. I don't think any Spurs fan can ever say that he didn't give his all. Um, a warrior and a fighter, and he gave absolutely everything on the pitch. Um, I think that some people, some fans have a problem with his ability, uh, technical ability, uh, but I tell you what, you give him a job to do, and Ange Postacoglu um, used him so much last season, and I actually think that he is going to be really missed, um, and this is why I keep banging on about Spurs going to sign experienced players because uh, he was one of the experienced players in that squad, not only on the pitch, but off the pitch as well in the changing room, um, you know, guiding some of the youngsters, um, you know, in the right direction and in, and in the right way, um, doing things on the pitch in the right way as well. Um, so, you know, wish him all of the very best. And I've absolutely no doubt that he is going to be extremely successful Um you know, in his career at Marseille and beyond. And uh, as I said before, I think it's a very, very good de good deal for Spurs. €20 million, Euros, uh, the fee will eventually be, uh, for a player in his final year of contract. And we also have a sell-on clause as well. So what a deal Spurs have got done. Um, you know, I must praise the club for that because recently some of these deals that we have got done of players going out the door, they have been really, really good deals. I know a lot of people will probably be shouting now, as I do, uh, saying, you know, where are the players coming in? But I do expect a number of players to come through the door in the next couple of weeks now, particularly now that the... Uh, the players are on the plane going to Japan and South Korea. You know, I've no doubt Ange Postacoglu will be saying, you know, where are these players uh, that we need, um, you know, ahead of the new season. Um, I think it's great, by the way, how many youngsters, how many development players. And I know that I talk a lot about the development players. I watch a lot of their games. And last season uh, was very, very exciting. They won the league um, and, you know, we eventually had to win it again via the playoff system. Um, and we didn't just win the league, we walked the league. You know, the under-21 uh, players uh, were in super form, fine form, all of last year. Um, pleasure to watch. Probably the best uh, youth system I've actually seen in my lifetime at Spurs. And I've watched the uh, the, the, the reserves, the under-23s, the under-21s, as it is now. Um, and, uh, you know, super exciting football under Wayne Burnett last season. And I fully expect that to continue because we've still got a number of great players coming through the development side uh, and the youth system. So, uh, you know, watch this space. But, you know, the likes of Jamie Donnelly, Will Lancashire, etc., uh, Tyrese Hall, you know, they've got to grab their opportunities now. And, uh, you know, this is their chance to shine, to say, you know, I don't want to go out on loan. Give me some uh, Premier League game time when the Premier League starts. This is their chance. This is their opportunity. You know, for them to be ar around the likes of Hun Min Son, James Madison, etc., this is their chance. So I really do hope uh, and expect them to grab it with both hands. And, of course, Mikey Moore, only 16. What an experience for him. 16 years old, getting on a plane with people like Madison and Son, etc., and, uh, you know, playing in the first team setup. What an experience. Incredible. Um, a little bit disappointing that Harry Kane won't be playing um, against Spurs in uh, Seoul in the South Korea game. Um, but I do get it because, of course, you know, some of our players, um, they're not on the plane either. They won't be featuring in some of these games, the likes of Van der Ven, uh, Romero, Lo Celso, etc. Um, so I, I, I fully get it. Um, I'd be extremely disappointed, as I think that everyone at Spurs would be, if Harry Kane did not play in the game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium you know, the week before the Premier League season starts. That is the one, uh, you know, that everyone is looking forward to. And I'm sure that Harry Kane will get a great reception from uh, all of the Spurs fans. Um, Matthew Craig going on loan to uh, Barnsley. Of course, that is a step up from his loan at Doncaster last year. So wishing him all of the very best. You know, great 
um, you know, getting some really good minutes, uh, getting some really good experience, and that is what it's all about with some of these young players. Uh, the Spurs women fixtures have just been released, so uh, do look out uh, for ticket information. I think the club have released um, that uh, today, so do look out for that. Um, Girona have now opened talks uh, with Spurs about Brian Hill. Now, I uh, feel a little bit sorry uh, for Brian Hill because I think Brian Hill is a great player. I just don't think that he is in the right league. Um, and I've said this before. Great player, went off, won the Europa League, come back. Um, you know, he just don't ever get that game time under various different managers that he's played under at Spurs. Um, he just doesn't get that run of games. Um, he looks exciting sometimes. Um, but just hasn't got that run of games, and I just don't ever see him fitting in under Postacoglu, and he must be frustrated, hence why he has probably said, you know, I don't want to go on the tour, I want to look for another club, and I completely get it, I completely understand it, and uh, I have absolutely no doubt the next move that he has is going to be a successful one, and he is going to be a very exciting player going forward. We've seen it, uh, we've seen him play in other leagues but the Premier League just doesn't suit him. Sometimes that happens. It is just the way it is. Um, the Football Insider have stated that everyone is confident at Tottenham that Postacoglu will not leave if offered the England job. I actually feel the same. Um, I think that Postacoglu, and he's already come out and said it, You know, um, he will feel like he's got unfinished business if he doesn't make the club successful. And I fully expect Ange Postacoglu to make the club successful. And uh, he loves a challenge. We've heard him say that many, many times before. He loves a challenge. And... Uh, you know, there is nothing more than I want to see someone like him lift Tottenham Hotspur a trophy after 16 plus long years. So hopefully he is the man to do that. Um, Lo Celso, that's going to be an interesting one. He is another player I wouldn't be at all surprised to see leave Spurs this summer. Of course, he is now on extended uh, leave or extended holiday and uh, he will rejoin the group. Um, you know, before the Premier League season starts, uh, but of course isn't on the tour. Um, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see Lo Celso go out the door because he is, um, you know, very similar to Brian Hill, really. Uh, great player, plays with the likes of Lionel Messi every single international break. Um, Messi even says how great Lo Celso is. Um, it is just a pity um, us Spurs fans and everyone connected to the football club don't see it on a regular basis. Um, you know, Lo Celso is a good player. We've seen him do it in other leagues. Um, just haven't seen enough of him at Tottenham, which is really, really frustrating. Um, Jamie O'Hara has come out and said that Spurs should go and splash £80 million for Rashford. I can't see that happening. Um, is Rashford worth that money? Um, he probably was, but I don't think he is now. Um, I have always been um, you know, a fan of Rashford, always wanted Spurs to go out and sign Rashford. Um, now, is it probably too late? Probably. Um, is he worth £80 million right now? No, he's not. Will Spurs pay £80 million for a player like that? Not a chance. Can't see that one happening. Um, I'm hoping, though, um, as I've said, that this transfer window is successful like the other two have been under Ange Postacoglu so far. Of course, we've got Archie Gray in. Um, we've got Bergvau in. I know he'd signed already. It's not in this window. And, of course, Timo Werner has signed on loan for another season at the football club. But I am expecting another big window. I have big expectations for this window. Ange Postacoglu has said on many occasions, I'm not interested in fifth, fourth, third, second. I want to be number one. If you want to be number one and uh, you want to improve this squad, you must give Ange Postacoglu the tool. So I am fully expecting a big, big window and uh, I'm expecting signings to come through the door this coming week. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you listen to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.